Hi guys, in this video, let's do a number problem. So, the problem is, what's the ones digit of, of 2015 exponent 2015 plus 2016 exponent 2016? This looks really hard, but it's actually easy. We need to find the ones digit of both of these. So, now let's take the first part. Okay, so we're only concerned about the last digit. So, the last digit here is 5. So, now, 5, so that'd be exponent 2000, 2015. That's a really large number. So, let's start with a small number. So, let's say 5 squared. So, 5 squared would equal to 5 times 5, which is 25. So, the last digit is 5. Now, let's say, let's see, 5 exponent 3. So, 5 times 5 times 5, which would equal 125. And look, the last digit is 5 again. Now let's say 5 exponent 4. So 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, which would equal 625. And look, the last digit is still 5. So if this keeps going on, if we go 5 exponent 5, 5 exponent 6, 5 exponent million, it would, and if we go 5 exponent 2015, the last digit would still be 5. So, the last digit is 5. Okay, now let's take 2016 exponent 2016. Okay, so the same thing. We only need, we're only concerned about the last digit. So, that's 6. And 2016 is really big, so let's start small. So 6 exponent 2 which would equal 6 times 6, which would equal 36. Now 6 exponent 3, which would equal 3, I mean 6 times 6 times 6. So 6 times 6 is 36, and we're only concerned about the last digit, so 6 times 6 is 36. And the last digit is 6. And the last digit for this is also 6. Now, let's say, so now let's say 6 exponent 4, which would equal 6 times 6 times 6 times 6, which would equal, so 6 times 6, 36, we only need the last digit, 6 times 6, 36, we only need the last digit. 6 times 6 is 36, so 0. 6 is the last digit. Okay, so if this keeps going on, the last digit will still be 6. So, 2016, exponent 2016, last digit will still be 6. So, the last digit of 2016, exponent 2016, is 6. So, now look, there's an addition symbol. So, we need to add both of them. So that'd be 5 plus 6, which equals 11. And we need to find the last digit of 11, which is 1. So the answer is 1. Let's keep doing more math. And like this video.